Let us learn another numerical problem from current electricity. Here there is a graph given. Right, first graph is voltage versus current. The second graph is current versus voltage. Right, there are uh, uh, curves, uh, straight lines A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Sorry, F up to F is given for a different material. Let us read the problem now. The following graphs represents the current versus voltage and voltage versus current for the six conductors A, B, C, D, E, and F. Which conductor has the least resistance and which has the maximum resistance? So let us go with the subject. Materials for which the current versus voltage graph is a straight line through the origin are said to be obeying Ohm's law. And their behavior is said to be ohmic. So here all the six curves are straight lines and they are passing through the origin. So they obey the Ohm's law. The macroscopic form of Ohm's law is V equals, the potential difference equals current multiplies the resistance. We can write the resistance as R equals potential difference V divided by the current flowing through the conductor I. Let us define the resistance. The resistance is the ratio of the potential difference across the given conductor to the current passing through the conductor. Let us find the first graph, voltage versus current. Graph first. Let us go with the first straight line. This straight line meets a point 4, 2. The current is 4 ampere, whereas the voltage is 2 volt. So this is the point we take it as a reference to find the resistance. The slope of this curve gives you the resistance. So for conductor A, I equals 4 ampere and V equal 2 volt. So the formula says R A, the resistance of the material A equals V divided by I. So V as 2 volt and I as 4 ampere. So we get 0 0.5 ohms as the resistance of this conductor. So let us write this for the further reference. R A equal to 0 0.5 ohms. Let us now go for the second curve. The second line goes and it has a meeting a point over here. The coordinate of this point is 3 comma 4. So it has 3 ampere current and uh, 4 voltage. So for a conductor the current is 3 ampere and the voltage is 4 volt. So let us find the uh, resistance of this conductor which is given by V by I. 4 by 3, which is equal to 1.33 ohms. So let us keep this for uh, RB is greater than RA, so we keep it on the right hand side. So let, write, let us write this value near the material B, RB equal to 1.33 ohms. Let us go for the third conductor. So here the straight line goes and meet a coordinate 2 comma 5. So the current is 2 ampere and the voltage is 5 volt. So for conductor C, the current is 2 ampere, whereas the voltage is 5 volt. So its resistance is given by 5 by 2, it is 2.5 ohms. So let us write this RC, which is greater than RB. Let us keep that as on the right hand side of RB. So let us go now for the second graph. The second graph says it is current versus voltage. Now if you take a if you want to find the slope of this straight line, you have to take the reciprocal of the slope. So let us go with the formula. So here you have a straight line that meets a point over here, 4, 2. So the voltage is 4, whereas the current is 2. Right? So for conductor D, so VD will be equals the voltage 4 by 2. 4 is the voltage, 2 is the current. So the answer will be 2 ohms. So this will be in between RB and RC. Let me write here its value and also near the straight line. So let us go for the next curve. Next straight line that goes through a point 3, 4. Right? This point is 3, 4. 
for a given voltage 3 the corresponding current will be 4 ampere so for a conductor e v equals 3 volt here we have and the corresponding current will be 4 ampere so let us find what is its resistance re that will be 3 by 4 equals 0.75 ohms so we have written that value here right let us write that also here right re equal to 0.75 ohms let us go for the next one the last curve right that its straight line meets a point 2 comma 5 in current versus voltage curve so this point so what is the voltage now for the last conductor it is 2 volt and the corresponding current will be 5 ampere so its resistance is given by v by i so 2 by 5 which is equal to 0.2 so we have written its value rf equals 0.2 ohms what is asked in our problem is the least resistance and the maximum resistance so the rf is the least resistance which is 0.2 ohms and the rc as the maximum resistance this is this is the maximum value whereas the first the resistance of rf is the least value the minimum value follow my channel children